Oh, hi. Welcome to Tea Fast Tea Time. Actually, make it hot chocolate, please. Awesome, thank you. I am Tifa and today's topic is social media. Scary, right? So there's just some websites that I personally don't enjoy using, but even with those that I regularly spend time on, they sometimes just absolutely stress me out to a point that I cannot take it anymore. This made me wonder if I should just stop using social media platforms altogether. And since lists are awesome and I love note taking, I started making a list of pros and cons to figure out the impact social media can have on me. I thought it could help you too, so I wanted to convert it into a shareable format and here we go. Okay, let's start off with the negatives since this was totally the mood I was in when I made that list. And what instantly happens to me is that I start comparing myself to others. Someone posted a picture which doesn't look better than mine, but got 200 likes already. I start feeling insignificant and unimportant when I look at my own profile and posted content. There's more people reacting to other members' posts and it really discourages me. Since we always try to impress others, we might want to only post the absolute best of drawings, photos, and basically anything we've made ourselves on the internet. This lets us easily stress out over the question if what we do is good enough. Good enough? What for actually? For taking the joy from our hobbies and favorite pastimes? And then there's the idiots. In any community that allows numerous people to join, you'll find them. Apparently, there are individuals that actually enjoy making others feel bad. Like, seriously though, I'm not making this up. I'm pretty sure you've already met them before, be it in real life or on the internet. And let me tell you, it's gotta be so much easier for them on the web because the others don't see the actual face of the bully. Just leave some confidence destroying comments somewhere and then move on to the next victim. Some humans are so messed up. Similar to these strange individuals, there are also just some random spammers, maybe bots, that try to send you private messages or weird comments. The cool thing about social platforms is that they usually have means to report those accounts. I'm not saying it'll help much though. If it's just someone you personally don't want to see around anymore, you can just block them or mute them on your end. That's easy. There's a few aspects about social media that can be viewed as either positive or negative depending on the situation. The point I see for this one is the influence of other people you have come in contact with on social media. There can be bullying and manipulation as mentioned in the cons, but also support and assistance that we can thrive on. There might be people out there who actually mean it well with you. Their influence might be of a mental kind to help you grow, or maybe even simpler. Just advice on what to buy or better keep your hands off. And here as well, they might tell you the truth or not, depending on if they care or just want to rip you off. And now we've made it. We've made it through the negative and neutral points and finally arrived at the pro. Woo! So what's really awesome about social media is that you can actually find friends and people who share the same interests that you have. You might form a book club or just enjoy the time hanging out together, playing games or watching movies together. There's new friendships to be made or maybe even real life friendships to be kept up over the internet. No matter how much you value online friendships for yourself, it's certainly closer over the internet than not keeping in touch at all. 
also instead of shattering your self-confidence real friends might push you to improve at what you enjoy doing while still having fun at the same time as for most topics in general i would say go with your gut ask yourself how you feel while and after using the website or app there are so many different platforms that the chances are big you're going to find something that suits you as well as your interests and needs there might be some accounts you're going to close again or put on a hiatus. You don't need to be everywhere. If you don't feel comfortable, it will not serve a purpose anyway. As long as you give them another way to keep the contact, your friends will still be available. Nobody can expect you to use an online platform that you feel bad on. If it's just a minor thing that bugs you about a place, many have a certain degree of customization enabled that you can play with until it kind of feels your own. Sometimes you might just need a vacation from social media for a few days. Sometime without pings and reposts and comments and likes might be just what gives you the peace of mind necessary to focus on what's actually important to you. You'll still be able to catch up with the food photos later for sure. And most important of all, don't compare yourself with other people. Of course, they will only post the most amazing things they've accomplished. And sure, those that have more followers than you are way more likely to get more likes on their posts. But if you ask them, it certainly could be even more. Humans have a talent to never seem happy with what they've got, even if it already is pretty neat. And with these thoughts in mind, I believe we can make the internet a better place if we don't let it get to us too much. Find your personal happy places and concentrate on what you enjoy doing. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you taking your time to see what I've made. You know how social media goes, so please like my video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to my channel for future content. It's free, you know, and it will make me happy too. Also a huge thanks to my patron Jared for always supporting me. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in another pro and con presentation on a different topic. It might just take me a few months. <laughs> okay, bye bye. The point I see for this um, is the influence of... <laughs> the point I see, oh God, let's start over. The point I see for this one is the influence of other people. You have God, what's wrong? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's something in my throat. <clears> throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> so what's really awesome about social media is that you can act blah blah. Oh boy. Please like my video if you enjoyed it. 